Hey guys, I'm alive, and we're gonna open up some records. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and fortunately, all those crazy LA wildfires that were going on did not affect my living situation on this side of town. So I want to take a moment to say thank you guys for all of your kind thoughts. Now, on a lighter note, Today we're gonna to be unboxing a ton of records that I received from the P.O. Box. So this video is gonna be a little bit longer than what you guys are normally used to seeing on the channel, but we're also gonna discover a lot of cool new music. So that should be pretty fun. Now, before we get to that, I just wanna let you guys know that today's song of the day is Sitting on the Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day, post it below and you might see it in a future video. Also, I wanna give a quick shout out to these awesome people who send me all the the cool records that are going to be featured in today's video. You guys are awesome and I just want to say thank you for taking the time to mail me all of this great stuff. I really appreciate it. All right, enough talking. Let's dive in. First package. All right, so the first one we got here is kind of a bigger box. There's definitely a lot of bubble wrap in here. Oh, cool. I think I know what this is. Disc washer, disc handler. Oh, okay. This is the first time I've actually seen one of these. It says like record opener down here. It kind of reminds me of like a squeegee <laughs> that you'd use in a car or something. So that's interesting. Um, I need to read his note and find out exactly how this works, but uh, thanks so much, Brian. Appreciate it. Second package. All right, so the next record we got looks like a Vinyl Moon record, and I don't know what volume this is, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, everything just kind of comes out nicely here. Oh, okay, this is volume 26. It's called Night Shining, and it's got a little write-up there from Brandon. Pretty cool. These are the, all the artists featured on this particular record mixtape. So I'm gonna set that aside, and let's check out the record. Okay, let's see. Looks like we got like water lilies on one side, and like a Chinese, uh, City on the other side, pretty cool. Cover is very uh, glossy, I like it. And it looks like it's a gatefold, oh, and it opens up like that. Wow, look at this, it's beautiful. Oh, okay, so it's like a tri-fold, and then the record is in the center behind this. So let's take a look at it. Oh, it's a purple record, nice. So this is side A and side B and each side has let me see this one side A has four tracks side B has five tracks nice this is the first actually like purple record that I own it's like a deep purple color that's pretty nice night shining probably has like a really cool night theme that's cool very glossy very beautiful looks like a painting cool beans can't wait to listen to it third package, which is this heavier box. Fragile, handle with care. Very important to put that on your records when you're shipping them. Cut this little tape here. Yeah, it looks like there might be several records in here. Okay, so the first record we got here, Morphine, Live at the Warfield, 1997. Cool, actually, uh, I've heard of this band. I've never listened to them though. So I'm not even sure what kind of music this would be. Let's see, it looks like it's a gatefold here. Let's look at the record on this side. See black vinyl, looks to be pretty weighty, like 180 gram. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six tracks on side one. And it looks like four tracks on side two or side B. Doesn't look warped, looks good. Not scratched, looks mint, so it's brand new, pretty cool. Let's check out the other record in that gatefold. All right, so here's the other record. Morphine, live at the Warfield, 1997. Yeah, it doesn't look warped, also on 180 gram. I mean, I would assume if one record is 180 gram, the other one in the same gatefold would also be 180 gram. Uh, we got four tracks on side three, and looks like three longer songs on side four. You know, looks like it's in good condition, no scratches or scrapes, which is cool. So that's just the first record in this package, so let's check out the others. 
All right, so the next record we got in here is The Stooges, Fun House. I've definitely heard of this band. Uh, they're like a rock and roll legend. And of course, Iggy Pop. Oh, that's awesome. This, this album is like crazy. Look at that. That's really cool. Highlights from the Fun House sessions. So it's like a special mix, I think. Okay, so it's a gatefold, just like the other one. And let's check out the left side. Oh, it's on colored vinyl too, that's awesome. Look at this. It's on orange marbled vinyl. Very beautiful. So this is side A right here. And it looks like we got one, two, three, four songs on side A. No, five songs. Doesn't appear to be warped. Doesn't look scratched or anything. Side B, we got, looks like three songs. Kind of looks like two, but it's actually three. I think two are blended into one at the very end there. Very cool. So let's check out the other record on the same gatefold. All right, so taking the second record out, it's also on orange vinyl. It'd be kind of weird if it wasn't. So this is side C. It's got, looks like uh, five tracks on it from different takes yet again. That's pretty cool. Studio dialogue. That's probably just like them talking before they were recording the song. So that's pretty neat. Let's check out side D, the final side. Looks like there's only one song on here, but it takes up the entire side. That's pretty cool. Yet again, it's not warped or scratched or broken in half, which is definitely a good thing. And uh, yeah, it looks to be in good condition, mint as a new record should be. And we've got even more records in here. Let's check out the rest of the records until we finish this package. Definitely gotta drink coffee and listen to that. That'll really wake me up. All right, so this other record is Secret Machines, Now Here Is Nowhere. It's interesting, I have not heard of this band. All right, so there's what the front of it looks like. Everything's in white. It says secret machines up here. We got speakers, amplifiers, guitars. Right here we got a keyboard right there. Got all kinds of musicians, instruments, and foot pedals and stuff. That's pretty cool. This one's also a gatefold. And although the front of it and the back of it are, is all white, and also the inside is all like white and black, I can already tell that the sleeves here are red. That's pretty cool. That kind of fits, right? Christmas colors. It's on like semi-transparent, kind of smoky gray vinyl. That's really cool. So this is side one here. We got one song, but it's nine minutes long. It's interesting. Maybe it plays at 45, no idea. I'm glad none of these records have been broken so far. That's good. <laughs> Flip it over. Side two is got three songs. Looks like it's good, not scratched, not scraped, not warped, yeah. All good things, so let's check out the other record in the same gatefold. All right, so we got the other record in the other side of the gatefold, and it's got a light pink, kind of like, or a light red, smoky kind of color. Looks like uh, salmon, and uh, yeah, it's really beautiful to look at. This one is not warped either, which is good. It's not scraped or broken in half. And side three has four songs, four tracks, and side four has, I don't know, it looks like there are multiple songs. It looks like there's four songs on this side too, but it only has one listed here. That's like almost nine minutes long, so I don't know. It's interesting. Maybe it's one long song and it just kind of takes breaks. You know, you never really can tell just by looking at a record. You have to pop it on the turntable and actually play it to know what it is. And sometimes you have to do that in order to know what speed it's gonna play at, whether it's 33 or 45. You just never really know until you put it on the turntable. Dude, there's even more records in here. All right, so we gotta continue with this same package. Do you guys like my hat, by the way? Dollar store, it's only like one buck. All right, so here's the last record in the package. It is The Dream Syndicate, and this is the complete live at Raji's. Cool, I haven't heard of this band either. So the front cover, it's kind of got like a washed out light blue kind of effect. And it's kind of like framed in a white frame, white, black, and light blue. Very kind of punk rock-ish on the back. Kind of continues the same punk rock theme. Yeah, I have never heard of this band. Thank you guys for always sharing this really cool music with me. And so it's got, uh, looks like portraits of each one of the band members on the inside of the gatefold. Let's check out the record on the left side of the gatefold. It's also on colored vinyl, I can tell right away. And oh, this is nice. It's on a light blue marble swirl color. That is pretty gorgeous. So, okay, this is side one. We've got, looks like five songs on side one. Yet again, not warped, not chipped, broken, scratched. 
None of those uh, bad things that you don't want. That looks good. Let's check out side two, also looks good. We've got five songs on this side as well. Cool. I mean, I'm gonna guess that this is rock music. Like I just said, you never really know until you pop it on the turntable. All right, so we got the second record in the gatefold. Also on light blue marbled swirl vinyl. Really beautiful. It's got, you know, mostly light blue, kind of like a teal color. And then it's got like some darker blue in there, some white, some black. Really gorgeous. Looks kind of like the ocean, you know, like the ocean on a tropical island. Really cool. So we got side three here and it's got three tracks on here and they look good. No scratches, no scrapes, it's not warped. Side four is here and it's got, looks like just two tracks. The second song is really long, takes up like most of the record on this side. But yeah, everything looks good, looks mint. It doesn't even look that dusty or dirty or anything. Sometimes when they press records in factories, you never know if it's gonna be like dirty, but uh, this one looks pretty good. All right, well, we have finally finished all of the records in that insane package, so thank you so much for sending it. Let's move on. Fourth package. All right, next up, we got a Vinyl Moon record with a fragile Handle With Care sticker on it. Very important. That way the UPS people or the Postal Service people don't uh, just throw your record into your yard or something and then a dog eats it. That wouldn't be good. This should just pop out. It's got a little tab here. Okay, so this is volume number 25. We're kind of going backwards here. So volume 25 is called The Space Between. It looks like it has a very kind of new age feel to it, kind of mystical kind of feel. It's got a hand, like a palm of a hand with a, looks like a tarot card in it. That's kind of interesting. So it's got a little note here from Brandon. And then yet again, we open this up and it shows us all of the bands featured on this mixtape, all on one page, well, mostly on one page. And then it's got the last two back here. Let's check out the packaging now. Here it is, just like the little uh, note there. This album cover is really beautiful. Shows that kind of tarot card. And it's got like a um, really interesting texture right here. Kind of sticks out a little bit, which is nice. And uh, palm holding it up there. Black and orange, kind of contrasting colors. On the back, it's got this uh, symbol. And then right here, it's got the track list, side A and side B. It is a gatefold as well. Oh, it looks like there's something on the left side of the gatefold. Well, I'll check that out in a second, but first let's check out the artwork here. Looks like the cosmos back here. I don't know, like a hand sticking out of a black hole here, a hand, and I don't, I don't really know. It's kind of hard to interpret all this. It's definitely kind of new age, kind of metaphysical artwork here. Pretty interesting. So let's check out that left side. And I saw some things in there that were kind of interesting. Oh, it's just one thing in here. Actually, no, there's two things. Okay, first off, we get a little lenticular card, which is pretty cool. Can you see that? I don't know if it shows up on the monitor. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. I love lenticular stuff. This side is not a lenticular. The space between, pretty cool. There was something else in there too. Oh yeah, it's like a clear card. That's interesting. I wonder if you put this in front of that or something. I don't know. I'll have to like play with that later. <laughs> Let's check out the record for now. Oh, cool. So the record is on light blue colored vinyl. And yeah, this is volume 25 and looks good. Doesn't appear to be warped or anything like that. No scratches, no scrapes. Looks good. It's about five tracks on side A, five tracks on side B. It's a beautiful looking record. Cool move on to the next one. Fifth package. All right, so we got the next record here and it looks like it's from the Ghostly Store. I'm not really sure what the Ghostly Store is, but they have little ghosts on here on the package. That's cool. Okay, so it looks like we've got a CD in here and this is from Matthew Deere and it's called Beams. There's also, I believe, two records in here. I like CDs too, CDs are cool. I don't have a record player in my car, so gotta still listen to music somehow. So there's the cover here. It looks like a abstract painting, almost like a Picasso painting of a guy who looks kind of beat up here or something. Maybe that's just the style, I don't know. And on the back here, it's got the track lists. Pretty cool. It might be on two CDs. This might be like a CD gatefold. Oh no, it's just, just one CD. Here's the little artwork, the little CD slip case. It's a really nice color. Just simple kind of minimalist CD label right here. Matthew Deere Beams. No idea what kind of music this is, but the CD's not scratched, so that's good. So yeah, can't wait to listen to it. Let's check out the records in this package. So here it is, Beacon, The Ways We Separate. 
pretty cool. Looks like uh, there's a girl here and she's sawing in half a guy. It's kind of interesting, usually it's the other way around. And then on the back we also get two saws, like two um, hand saws opposite each other. One just looks normal and the other one looks like it's got flowers in it. It's kind of interesting. Very uh, kind of simple minimalist background. It's not a white color but it's kind of like a very light gray. This one is not a gatefold. I think this is the first record in, in all the ones that we've opened that's not a gatefold. <laughs> so uh, the sleeve has kind of got like this dark green. It's kind of like a dark green mixed with gray color. It's, it's matte. It's really interesting and it's got not only the track list on the back but it's also got the lyrics. So that's cool. This side, yet again, we got dual saws. So let's check out the record. Will it be on colored vinyl? I can't tell. All right, so it's on black vinyl. No big deal. Not every vinyl record has to be colored. It's okay. Uh, so we got side A here. Looks like it's got one, two, three, four, five tracks on side A. It's a little dusty, but I'll clean it off. Not a big deal. It's not warped. Looks like it's on 180 gram. It's a little heavy. And we got side B here. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, yeah, five tracks on side B as well. Maybe six. No, there's just one track at the very end that's kind of long. Yeah, yet again, a little, little dusty, but that's okay. Clean it off and it sounds perfect. So yeah, looks good. Good. Let's check out the second record. Oh, and I just realized I need to turn this back on. There we go. All right, so we got the second record in that package. This is Beacon Escapements. So we've got, looks like a field. Maybe they're growing vegetables or something. These look like beets down here. And they're all wired into what looks like a lamp out in a field. That's kind of interesting. And we've got these kind of lines, like the stars in the sky. Pretty neat. Okay, so we got the track list on the back here. Also not a gatefold. And let's see here, we've got photos of the two band members, I'm assuming, on the back here. Track list and also the lyrics. On the front here, we've got, look like blueprints for something. That's pretty interesting. This one is also on black vinyl. This is side A, we've got five songs on here, five tracks. Yet again, a little dusty, but not really a big deal. You can clean that off. Side B has one, two, three, four, five, looks like six tracks. So they've loaded up side B and yeah, I wouldn't even be able to tell you what kind of music this is, but like I said, you just gotta pop it on the turntable and find out for yourself. That is the end of that package. Let's check out the next one. Sixth package. All right, so the next one doesn't actually have a name anywhere on it, so I'm not sure who sent it to me, but if you notice that this is your record, thank you. This is Margot Price. I like the album cover. It's got kind of like a uh, fibrous, kind of like cloth texture. It's really interesting. It's like a girl looking over her shoulder. She's wearing kind of like uh, fringes. And then there's buffalo here in the background, like a field of grazing buffalo. And it says all American made. Really cool. I wonder what kind of uh, music this is. I'm guessing kind of like maybe a little country, maybe indie country, modern indie pop country. No idea. So side A, side B, track list here. There's Margot. Go Price, I'm guessing, wearing a hat. And let's check out the record. So here are the lyrics right here. Got a little lyric sheet and it opens up. It's got like a map of the United States and a little note there, so it's really interesting. And it's like a, um, an older map of the United States before we had all 50 states. So that's pretty cool. Shows the Oregon Trail up there. So I'm gonna set that aside, let's check out the condition of the vinyl record. So it's on black vinyl and a paper sleeve. Not super fond of paper sleeves, but I'll probably upgrade that to a uh, you know nice quality MoFi inner sleeve or something like that. So it's a little bit uh, lighter weight vinyl. It's, it's not 180 gram, maybe like 120 gram. And uh, it doesn't look to be warped. It's not scratched. It's just a little bit dusty, but yet again, you can clean that off. So that's side B. This is side A. Side A has six songs. Side B also has six songs. Yeah, it looks good. Um, can't wait to listen to it. Seventh package. All right, what else we got? Now, we're gonna open up some of these smaller packages. So this one says vinylize at the top, Mexico. Okay, that's it. So we've got one CD in here. So this is Rafael Correa, uh, Songs to Remember. And he's uh, dressed very dapper, almost like uh, Michael Buble or something like that. So uh, I've never heard of this guy. Apparently he sent this to me personally. Burning Love, Close to You. These seem like kind of classic, maybe ballroom kind of songs. And that's him right there, singing into like a vintage microphone. That's pretty cool. I like that the CD kind of looks like a record. That's pretty cool. So yeah, can't wait to listen to Rafael. Thanks so much, man. 
8 package. All right, so we got another small, uh, I don't know what this is, maybe it's a seven inch record. No, it actually looks too small to be a seven inch. This is from vinylpost.co. So let's check this out. So yeah, these look like uh, flexi discs. This is a uh, neon Magdalena Bay. Let's see if I can take it out here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a seven inch, it's even smaller than that. It's a single song on like a postcard record. Really cool, I like that postcards you can send them to people send them to your friends so we got another one called stingray vacation and each one of them actually comes with an inner sleeve this one is past lives on the range looks pretty cool so we got another one here there's a girl with blue and purple hair here and she's kind of laying down next to a little stuffed animal of a dog kiro kiro bonito fishbowl yeah so postcard records pretty cool can't wait to listen to him. Ninth package. All right, next up, we got another Vinyl Moon record, so let's check it out. Protect from heat. Very important. Keep your records out of the sun or they will warp. There we go. So this is volume number 24, and it's called The Lost Expedition. It's kind of interesting. And so it's got a little write-up here from Brandon about what this record is all about. And if you open it up yet again, we've got pictures of all of the bands and artists featured on this mixtape. Pretty cool. And then on the back, we get the last two right there. And then apparently the person who did the artwork is someone named Gabrielle Brombin. Let's check out her artwork. Here is the record. Okay, this looks pretty cool. So this is the cover of The Lost Expedition. And in addition to having the image on here, it's also got like these little raised uh, bumps on here. It's like, you know, glue that's been dried or something. It looks kind of like a prehistoric volcano or something, like a caldera or some kind of like a swamp. That's interesting. Something you might find in like Iceland or something. So on the back here, we got side A, side B, the track list, more of those little raised bumps. It looks kind of like uh, geography, like topography, you know? All right. Oh, so we open this up here and there's like a little tab inside the gatefold on the left-hand side. It's like this thing sticking out. So let's check that out. It looks almost like a treasure map or something. Well, this whole thing comes out and it's written in a language that I don't understand. I don't even think it's a language. It looks like a made up alien language or something. That's really neat. But it shows hills and mountains and geography and some maps and a volcano. And let's check out this side yet again. More geography and topography. This one right here in the corner kind of looks like Stonehenge with some uh, large rocks piled up against each other. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna set that down. Let's check out what's on the left left side of the gatefold on the inside. Okay, looks like we got some kind of little booklet. Okay, so it's not a booklet, but it is like a series of little prints, like artwork. That's pretty cool. Here's another art print. Looks like a guy just chilling by himself on the top of a tall mountain. That's nice. Here's another one right here. Some more mountains, really beautiful. Kind of like uh, pastel colors. So let's set those down and let's check out the record. Colored vinyl, I can see that right away. Red vinyl, very nice. Soft inner sleeve, which is important. Like I said, I don't like the paper inner sleeves. They tend to scratch the records with time. So this is a kind of a red, looks like almost like a volcanic kind of vinyl. It's a deep red color with some black in there. So this is uh, side A, looks like it's got five tracks on side A and five tracks on side B. And it looks like there might be a very short fifth track. Very interesting. Yeah, it's not warped, not scratched, not broken in half, which is good. And uh, I'll have to pop it on the turntable and actually hear what this sounds like, but can't wait. 10th package. All right, so we'll put this vinyl moon in front of that vinyl moon. Hopefully all the vinyl moons will stay. All right, so we've got this weird little package down here. This one was sent by Matt Frank and it's kind of a weird shape. I don't know what is in here. It's kind of shifting around. All right, so we got, let's see here. We got a note, a printed note. 
Oh, this is the Vinyl Bug Record Cleaning System. I've never heard of this before. That's cool, I'll set that aside, read that later. So let's check out the little system. It comes in a Ziploc bag here. So we've got this little, uh, probably like a 45 RPM adapter in here. I think that's what this is. Or maybe some way to hold the record. So yeah, that's interesting. It's like got this cloth texture. I'm guessing you'd put some solution on there and clean off your record. The handle seems very sturdy. It also seems like it was 3D printed too. I can tell based on the design of it. And it comes with a replacement pad on here. Pretty cool, vinyl bug. I'll have to try that out. Thanks so much. 11th package. All right, so this record is from R. Jones. So let's check it out. We're almost at the end of our journey, friends. There we go. So this is from Richard Jones. He left me a little note here, which I will read later. Thanks so much. Okay, it looks like we got two records on here. This is a test pressing from Third Man Records yet again. Awesome, nice. What is this test pressing of? Oh, the artist is Rizlo and the title is Books. Interesting. So it's a test pressing, so it's not gonna really tell me much about it, but I always love test pressings. Test pressings are really cool. So it looks like we got one, two, three, like about five tracks on this side and uh, looks great. I mean, it's a little dusty, but that's okay. And there's nothing on side B, so it's only side A. Pretty neat when they only have music on one side. I don't know, I don't know why I like that. I just think it's kind of interesting. Or like when the back side has like some kind of design or artwork on it. All right, cool. So we got a test pressing from Third Man Records that I cannot wait to listen to. And let's check out the second record. So here is the second record. This is the same artist, Books. And we've got songs Muses, Elmwood, Fire on the Moon, Shadow People, and Conversation with God. And that's that's also really interesting. Most records, if this is the album cover, which I think it is, most records open from this side, but this one actually opens from the left side, which is kind of different. And then here is the back of it. And I'm guessing this is the artist and he's standing next to a bookshelf, which is uh, very fitting. So let's check out the record. So we've got a paper sleeve in there, yet again. Not a big fan of paper sleeves, but that's okay. All right, so we got side B here, and yet again, there's nothing on this side. So it looks almost like a test pressing in that way. So the only tracks are on side A, and we've got about five tracks on here. So can't wait to listen to it. Books, pretty cool. And 12th package. All right, so we got the last one here, and it's another Vinyl Moon record, and this is volume number 27. So let's check it out. And again, try and cut away from you. It'll prevent visits to the emergency room, which you don't want. So yeah, like I said, this is volume 27 called Sky Ride. And I believe this is the most recent volume. And it's got a little write up here from Brandon. And the artwork looks very um, kind of uh, minimalist or abstract. Looks cool. So let's open it up and we've got artists from all over the place, from Los Angeles to New York to Brooklyn. And then we got the last two artists right back here. This guy's from Norway and Queens. There's a lot of artists from uh, LA and New York featured on this release. So Sky Ride. What's really cool about this is the letters are recessed into the cover, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I like stuff like that. I like stuff that like pops out, you know, above the page and stuff that's recessed into the page. That's pretty cool. And so that's the album cover. Looks like two overlapping waves and some green hills right there. Looks like we got the sun kind of rising up on the horizon. And on the back, we've also got some greenery, a guy and a girl just uh, chilling, watching the sunset there. And then there's a palm tree right up here. It's very cool, very kind of, um, almost like very vapor wave-ish. I like that. Vaporwave's pretty cool. So we got side A, side B track lists right here. Let's open this up. Oh wow, okay, so we open up the gatefold and we've got this like purple and light pink landscape here. We've got a woman's face here on the right side of the gatefold and it looks like she's uh, blowing into her hand or into the wind or something. That's kind of interesting. And then there's a guy walking over here. I think he's got like a paint roller for some reason. And then if we look on the left side of the gatefold, we get a little bonus artwork right here. This is cool. It looks like a tidal wave coming into the land or it could be a really big cloud. I'm not really sure. It looks kind of like a tidal wave approaching land. It's kind of neat. All right, so I'm gonna set that down. Let's check out the record. Ooh, nice colored vinyl. Look at that. 
All right, so this is a kind of a dark blue vinyl. It doesn't appear to be mixed with anything. Maybe a little bit of white thrown in there. That's cool. Okay, so this is side A and this is side B. Side A's got one, two, three, four, about five tracks on here. Side B also has five tracks. It's not scratched, not scraped, not warped. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. I have no idea what kind of music is gonna be on here. Nice, can't wait to listen to it. Should be good. All right, well, everything looks like it's in great condition. And as usual, I have way more music than I know what to do with. Now, what did y'all think about all this music and which records were your favorite that we checked out today? Let us all know down in the comments. And if you love music in general, please subscribe and smack that little notification bell so you won't miss the new videos. And most importantly, friends, have an awesome day, happy holidays, and keep spinning that vinyl.